Hello, my friends. Welcome it to my channel. Today we're going to start on um, this grayscale coloring page called Honey. She's brand new in my Etsy shop. And um, this is the uh, medium grayscale version. There's a lighter version and a darker version over there as well. So you can um, print off whichever one suits your tastes. I thought about saving her for spring because of the daffodils and the, you know, the bees and all that. It felt kind of springy, but I thought, you know, it's, um, it's, it's coming up close to springtime in uh, the southern hemisphere of the world. So um, I thought I would just go for it. So we're going to do this in Prismacolors. I actually um, began this video once already and um, have put a light layer of the light peach on her face um, and realized that my camera was slowly um, sliding down um, to the point where she wasn't even in frame anymore and I, I didn't notice. But the color is so light on there that, um, you know... I, did, I figured I would just go ahead and, and use this page um, after all. Um, and so basically, really, all I've done so far is take this light peach and I've gone over the whole face, um, except for anywhere where I want to keep um, the brightest colors, which, be, which would be the white on the top of the cheeks, the center of the nose, center of the forehead. Um, pretty much, you know, those areas. And and all I did was just, you know, you've seen me do these before. You guys know that you know how to do it. Um, so we just kind of went over the whole face with a coat of this. And that is basically to um, protect the paper from the darker colors. Um, makes it easier, I, I think, to blend when there's um, a little bit of pencil on the paper when you go to add your dark colors they don't um, uh, they don't make as harsh of pencil marks on um, on on paper if it has a little bit of pencil underneath first so I've done the face already I'm going to move down and I'm going to go ahead and do the um, you know her neck and uh and then we'll keep going from there. So I'm, I'm not gonna bother putting any up in here in the, in the uh, dark area. That'll be fine to leave alone. And we wanna leave this area on her neck alone as well. So don't worry about, um, you know, coloring around these hairs here. Um, one of two things is going to happen. Either you're still going to be able to see those hairs after we get the skin tone all done, and then you'll be able to go over them with a pencil, or you won't see them anymore, and it's no big deal. You can put in your own and not worry about it. So don't try and color around hairs and things like that. That's just a waste of time and stress. <laughs> we don't like stress. Okay. 
I know that none of this is barely visible, barely visible, um, but that's what happens on, with these light colors on the white paper. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to um, chestnut, and then we'll kind of start being able to see some stuff here. So I'll have to forgive me a little bit. The camera is kind of in my in my face a little bit here. Okay, I need to slow down because again, I could tell already in my, I was going too fast and putting too much pressure down and I could, could feel how the, um, how the pencil was gonna make marks that were much heavier than I wanted if I wasn't careful. something about when I'm filming that makes me um, work faster than I normally um, would. I don't know why that is, but all right, so I'm barely touching the paper. I'm just letting the weight of the pencil make the marks. Almost feel like I want to, like I want um, more pencil down before I do these darker colors. sure one. Oh, well, that's good. At least that one came off. I was going to say, I'm not sure why my printer printed dots all over my page. I guess the only one on there is this one. And that, that might actually be part of the coloring page. I might have to, <laughs> I might have to revisit that and make sure that it's um, not on there on the pages that you guys get. So I used luminance pencils on the original of this, and um, so I'm hoping that I can get a skin tone similar to my first one. I kind of want it to be a yellow, kind of a golden, you know, a yellow undertone, kind of 
springy, summery look. We'll see, we'll see what we get. Sometimes uh, plans change as you progress in your page. Okay, again, really like I'm, <laughs> I'm barely touching the page here. I want this to be really light. You want to slowly build the color up instead of... This might be like one of the hardest things for... Um, not just new colorists, but pretty much anybody. Um, to learn is to not have a heavy hand. The pages always come out better if you slowly build your color. I can tell that I just turned my pencil by accident because I got those kind of sharp um, lines there instead of something really super smooth. I think I'll be able to blend that out. It'll be okay. Um, That's why I like working with that flat edge on a pencil.
want? Oh, what do I want? Because I don't have a color combo yet for this one because I did it in different pencils. Um, let's do some... I don't know if this is right or not, so bear with me while I decide <laughs> if this is what I want. I might, you know what, I don't. I want to put some more light color down. I'm not feeling like that's, like I have enough of the lighter colors yet. So, I need to find my peach, which for some reason is not in my pencil case. Nope, nope, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> it. Uh, peach. There it is. Okay. So let's put some of this down. Um, hopefully there's enough of the light peach down to, to buffer this a little bit. Because when you when I put this this peach color down straight onto the paper, it always feels so dark. This is this is good. We'll do this. Always remember to lighten your pressure if you're going in areas that are um, untouched <laughs> um, or that you know you want to be light. You don't want to press down hard in those areas.
lightening that pressure as I come into the highlighted area. What do I want next? I'm, de I'm debating on some beige sienna. And I, I'm not sure. Let's. Uh, See what this does. Like it. I think we'll go. We're, we're going to keep going with this.
That's what happens when I start working too fast. I get those, get that line there that now I have to try and blend out because I was not taking my time. Let's get a little bit of um, nectar on here. Need some more chestnut right here. I want to cover up that gray. I'm feeling a little bit better about putting the dark color on now. It doesn't feel so um, like it's going on so harsh like it did earlier. Um, 
let's do blush pink. Really lightening my pressure as I work up into this highlight here. Some on her nose. Let's try some Sienna Brown. Let's see, let me try it over here. I want to be careful. <laughs> get carried away and then I wind up putting too much in the center of her forehead where I need that to be really light. <clears throat> that feels really heavy right now, but I think it'll it'll blend out uh, when we get to that point. I want some more chestnut over here.
I know everything looks really um, like harsh right now, but when I come in and I blend it with a lighter color, all of these dark colors are gonna get a lot lighter. So I wanted to make sure that they don't um, disappear, which sometimes happens when I'm working on white paper and I go to blend. Um, all, my, all my colors that I thought were dark enough all of a sudden are not dark enough because of the, the blending that I would do. And, um, and by that time, then I start running out of tooth. So I'm trying something different where I'm adding them a little bit darker. Let's see if that works. Right, I'm going to try light peach again. Let's see what it does in here. my um, eggshell now. So I'll put a little bit of the cover up this area here that I really haven't put any color on yet. We'll use the light peach for that. Let's put a little bit more of it in here. I feel like also she needs some more color on her chest. All right, let's try some eggshell. It's quite dark, so I'm not gonna press down very hard. I'm not really blending with this. I just wanna add some more of these yellow tones. blend with white. See what we get.
So, I'm uh, <laughs> really debating on if it's blending time or not. Um, it, it won't be our final coat. I'm definitely going to have to like come back in and warm it up, I think, with the um, with like burnt ochre or something, but I think we're going to try it and see what happens. So I'm starting in the center. And working out and I'm trying I'm trying not to push too hard because I definitely don't want to lose all of my tooth yet I've got a I've got a a lot of other things I want to do still. I don't like what's going on here at all. So before I keep going with the um, white, I'm gonna use this peach. So any area that's white, I'm going to start in the white area, lay that color down and blend away because I want to keep it bright and I want to blend the colors away from what I'm working on, not into it.
this <laughs> this little bit of white that I got down here is bugging me, so I'm just going to make that go away. get some purple in here um, all right I think I'm gonna all right a couple things here because I'm not um not happy yet but there's still a long way to go yet so first thing I want to do is Define these nostrils a little bit. <clears throat> so my pencil actually looks quite sharp, but if you look at the edge, the edge is really flat and dull because I used it to put lines on something else. So I just took a little piece of sandpaper and sharpened that point because there was no point in sharpening it in a pencil sharpener and wasting, wasting um, pencil lead. All right, I need some grade lavender. I almost, maybe even, you know, let's do, um, I'm debating on going really dark. I don't know why I want to try this, but I'm going to try this Parma Violet instead of Black Grape. Oh, I don't know. That might not be it. So bear with me while I kind of figure this out. Um. It could be okay. So, let's do a little bit of this. And then Sienna Brown. a lot more pencil right there and I'm not sure let's do a little eggshell and a little white that's better I don't like seeing the tooth of the paper much better. Okay. Um, all right. So more of this Sienna Brown.
I don't like the Parma. I mean, it's not bad, but I think I want black grape. Yep. All right, we need some more contouring of her nose. And I'm going to use the Sienna Brown. She's missing something. She's missing more color down on her chest. I still have to do some more color down there, but I want to get her face right. Um, it might be time to start with my little dots. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to start adding the um, freckles. soften them out with a blending pencil. When you do freckles, make sure that you're not giving um, poke that you're not putting polka dots on her on her face. So they need to vary in size. They need to be clumpy. Um, and they need to vary in, in strength. So some are going to be really light. Some are going to be darker. When I get to this highlighty bit, um, I'm going to go very, very lightly because the highlight washes out the color, so it would also wash out the color of the freckles. Alright, let me 
see, I'm gonna blend with my colorless blender. <clears throat> I need to work on that ear. Put some peach on there. A little eggshell. Okay, she's feeling, I'm feeling better about her. I know I'll feel even better once I get um, the, the lips, the lips and the eyes done, but let's add a little bit more pink to her cheeks now. This is um, blush pink. Something under here I need to work on. It looks a little like there's not a lot of pencil there or there's... Sorry, that was um, chestnut and peach. I don't know. I'm sorry about that. I got a little um, distracted, I guess. Something about that I don't I don't like so peach I don't know what to do to make that go away I don't want to erase it necessarily um, nectar 
I don't know, something that I did here I'm not happy with. So let me just work that for a minute. Let's try beige sienna. That's not bad. Let's put some more pink on her. Uh, actually, let's do this. Let's take white. Blend that a little bit better. Something about what I did is making her nose look pointy. This is Sienna Brown. Her nose looking so pointy. <laughs> All right, a little bit of pink. do some more um, freckles. So, and this feels not blended enough. feeling better about it. Let's do some more. Chestnut. Let's do some more chestnut in here. Blend that up. Try eggshell up here. Okay. Um she looks very yellow in the camera when I look through the viewfinder. But she doesn't look anywhere near that yellow on the page. So I'm not sure if it's just the viewfinder or if that's really what she's looking like. Um, but we do need to add some more color down here. So I'm going to use peach. <laughs> so the color that... Um, I show you the at the end of every video when I scroll through when when she scrolls at the end of the page. Those are always well, I shouldn't say always. Those are usually taken outside in natural light, and um, I always try and get her as close to the real colors and everything as I possibly can, so that you can see what she really looks like. Because sometimes underneath, you know, artificial light, things don't always look exactly the way they 
really do. I try and have my lights be set for, you know, the right color balance. But sometimes it's not perfect. Okay, I want a little more white here. And I want a little more peach under her chin. And then I want sienna brown, and we're gonna do some freckles on her chest. And this area might be a little bit too white. So let me do some light peach. Some eggshell. Maybe just a tiny little bit more dark. Right there. It's a little bit too um, strong. That needs to be blended out some more. So. still kind of see some of the, um, you know, tooth of the paper, which I don't like. I like having it be as smooth as possible. So we'll blend with some white. Okay, let's do her lips. That's gonna, um, that's going to help me. I think I'm happy with her. Um, a little more white. So let's do some white down the center. I'm 
We'll start with nectar like I always do. That just seems to be, for me, a really good base to start with. And all the other colors seems to look really nice with it. So it is my go-to base color on lips. So I could use henna, I could use mahogany red. Um, let's try some mahogany red. And that I want just in the shadow areas. be the corners of the mouth. In this case, where the lips meet each other. And underneath. Lips are one of those things that if I don't, if I don't get right, it just completely changes the expression and the look on her face. And that can be so frustrating. This is nectar again. to blend that out a little bit. All right, let's get some something really dark. Do I want to use black? I don't think I don't think this is the right choice. So don't do this yet. <laughs> this is the dark. You know what? Maybe I want to try, let's try some black cherry. So I want this, this to be darker between her lips, but I don't, I was afraid to use black. Black cherry's kind of nice. Um, she has such a cute, quirky expression on my original, and I don't want to mess that up with the coloring page. 
it's so easy to change things. It's kind of bizarre. All right, I'm going to take some chestnut and darken this area around her mouth. Not really dark and almost en enlarge. We're going to try and blend this so that it's a soft um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know, the corners of her mouth where they're kind of shadowed. I don't always know what I'm doing. Sometimes I just do it. <laughs> so explaining what I'm trying to do is like you know, you guys just read my mind. You should know what I'm talking about. <sighs> I don't know what I did there. Sometimes I get a pencil mark and it's like, where the heck did that come from? I'm, I'm not sure that I loved I know I sh this is black just the tiniest amount just to almost just tint I don't want her lips to be black in any way um, or gray even that would that would suck too that's not bad um let's let's do her eyes and then I'll know what to do next I've got this nectar in my hand though and I'm I still feel like her nose might need a tiny little bit of work. I don't know why. Just not. Um, again, I think she still needs some more freckles, so I guess I'm not ready to do her eyes yet. Bear with me. I'm going to do some freckles in chestnut so we have some variation of color. Okay, let's do eyes. Um, so I'm gonna start with some henna and some nectar and some gray. Which gray? Huh. Okay. Well, somewhere around here is my 
hate it when that happens. <laughs> and sometimes it's right in front of my face and I'm just, I'm looking right at it and I don't see it. Oh. Ah. 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 Okay. So, I'm going to start in the corner of her eye. some nectar. And some 30% French gray. Do a little bit of nectar into the white. And we'll do that over here too. Thirty percent French gray. Nectar. What color eyes are we going to do? Um, let's finish this before I get distracted. Eyes are never white. Always remember you want to use grays for the eyes. All right, um, let's see. Sharpen my white. Um, a lot of the times I've been using um, that lovely Derwent Drawing Blue for the eyes, but I think we will stick with Prismas for this. So let's try white, indigo, blue, and slate gray. I want really sharp. I'm going to take my glasses off so I, so I can get right up close to what I'm doing here. All right, I'm going to put a few little white... And I'm also going to do the highlight in white. Then um, let's do indigo blue.
and then slate gray. And indigo blue. a few more stripies. Okay, let's do some Seventy percent cool gray, Blend that a little bit with white. All right, I think I want I want something dark, but I don't know if I want it as dark as this 90. So hang on for a sec. Let me see. This is the 70. I'm going to darken this a little bit more. I do still tend to like to do dark um, lashes and all of that, even even when the hair is going to be blonde. But before I do that, I'm just going to add a little bit more nectar. Still not happy here. So what do I want to do? This is 90% cool gray with a really sharp point. Careful. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave it. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with it. I'm afraid. <laughs> her eyelashes probably don't come up this this close to her eye now that I think about it. Uh, If I can fix it, <laughs> let's do some peach. White. 
I actually think she needs a little bit more shading underneath her eye. Under her eye, yeah. Let's try. Oh. Grade lavender. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay. Right. That's not too bad. Just curious what happens if I add a little bit of um, bur uh, burnt, burnt ochre, a little bit of burnt ochre. I think she still needs more color on her chest. Um, and I will probably do that off camera. Um, but I like this burnt ochre color. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to apply some more of this all over her chest and blend it with the colorless blender her face has lots of color but her um, chest is still too light um, everything else looks pretty good I think especially it's especially hard when you're trying to like copy a piece that you've done already um, which is basically what I'm doing every time I'm doing a coloring page is coloring a piece that I did already, which is fine. It's still, it's still fun, but it doesn't always come out the same. You know, it never comes out just the same as the original. I'm curious what would happen if I That's one nice thing about white paper is <laughs> you, you can use an eraser uh, to bring out more highlights, which is kind of nice. Okay, guys, I am, I'm thinking she's probably 97% done. Um, she'll look better once we get her hair on and all the other stuff, but I'm pretty happy um, with how she looks right now. Um, I might come in and add, again, even more freckles to her chest um, and through here. I'm just not sure, but I'll, um, I'll wait. I'll take the picture, you know, after I get that done and post that at the end of the video so you can see. But, but really, at this point, that's, that's all I'll be doing is just the little teeny fine-tune things that... Um, that we tend to do after we've sat and looked at a page for a while. Um, so yeah, I think I will, I will call that good. 
So until I see you guys on the next video, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Thanks for being here. Happy coloring. Bye.